welcome back to our channel today and may the force be with you. May the fourth be with you. <laughs> oh yeah, may the fourth be with you. We were actually just talking about our time out in Orlando when we went with our life in Holland and how we went to Star Wars World. That was so that was much awesome. fun. That was our first time there ever and we definitely yeah definitely want to go back. I know, we've actually talked about going back out there because as a Florida resident, you get a discount. I know, and we actually have two free passes from the last time we went. Yeah, yeah we that's a universal, do. so I mean, oh, yeah, we should use it anyway. Yeah. But yeah, I think we think that would be a lot of fun. Speaking of what was not fun last night, neither one of us got a whole lot of sleep. Last night, you guys, I have to laugh, so if you missed yesterday's video, we are babysitting Mr. Duke, Finn's little friend, and I was like a burrito last night between Duke and Finn. They <laughs> both probably moved like a hundred times. So you can say not the best night's sleep, but they are so cute. They cuddled, they were playing together. This morning they've been playing nonstop. Now we're just out on a beautiful walk taking in some sunshine. Okay guys, so I decided to do a little run walk down to the beautiful beach. Look at that water today. Oh my gosh, it's a beautiful day. And I'm gonna try something where I either walk or run every single day. Cute Mindy from Mindy's Best does something every May and I think it's called 5K a day in May. And it's really inspired me that I need to get outside more, enjoy the beautiful surroundings. And I mean, coming down to the ocean, how can you not? So I'm really gonna try it down here every day or at least somewhere. I don't know if I'll do quite three miles, but we will see. But man, I think it's just absolutely beautiful. Almost to my goal. My goal today was to do about three miles. And do you see that yellow hotel right there? That's about three, a little over three miles. And I'm almost there, feeling good. It's starting to get a little warm out here. Good thing I got my sunblock on. But I think maybe tomorrow Jared might come do this with me. I didn't make it out for the sunrise this morning. I wish I could have, but it feels good to be out here though. Oh, it's beautiful. So, so pretty. Gotta take advantage of days like this because I know the rain is coming. We get overcast a lot here, so soaking in all the sun. All right, you guys, update. I made it. Oh my gosh, feels so good beautiful water today my goodness so so pretty I think I'm gonna sit down for a little bit before I head on back home okay you guys just got back oh my goodness I am a dripping wet mess but I feel so good it was absolutely beautiful down there at the beach today. I can't wait. Hopefully tomorrow is just as good weather because if it is, I will definitely go and do that again. We'll see if Jared comes and joins me then. I'm having to make a little protein shake, maybe eat some eggs, then I gotta get showered. Get my hat here. Oh my goodness. I do like wearing hats though because it protects my face from the sun. I also put on a ton of sunblock, especially on my face. I always do every morning. I just filled up my water. I also have a goal to drink more water in the day. That was awesome. All right, all right. Brittany and I just filmed a really cool TikTok video that you guys are gonna have to go over and check out. I will admit, it took me forever to figure out how to do it, and I still don't know if I did it perfectly, but I will say this, it was very cool, very fun to do, and we definitely challenge all of you guys out there to go do it. If you do do it, definitely let us know, send us a DM, but with every TikTok we do, we try to choose a different cool background, and with this one, you guys decided to go with this really cool intercoastal inlet. It was definitely a lot of fun, but as you guys can hear, there is a road right here that is very, very busy, and so it made it a little difficult to actually hear the music, but I think we got it. all the footage of the dances. Man, that one was really hard, but I think we have a clip we can use, luckily. Mad shout out to Jared for learning that one. It did take a while for sure, but we got it done, so that's awesome. Go over to TikTok. It should be posted by the time you guys see this, but now I need to 
run to Trader Joe's. We actually have some people coming over for dinner tonight. And I'm gonna be making a really delicious sandwich, yes, a sandwich, with like an Italian flair to it. So I'll grab the ingredients and then show you how I throw that dinner together. again. You. I'm really excited about tonight's dinner. It is so simple, so easy. Even if you don't have a Trader Joe's, you can still make this. So what's on the docket tonight? We are doing a super simple side salad. So I did go to Trader Joe's, picked up one of these orzo Greek salads. So the hack is, see it comes with orzo pasta. Mm -hmm. I guess the official name is Mediterranean style mm -hmm. orzo pasta salad. But literally, I'm just gonna take some spinach and combine it with that, add a little more feta cheese, and then we have our side salad. I could drizzle a little more olive oil on here, maybe some lemon juice to kind of brighten it up, but look how easy that is. Oh, it's super easy. We've done this a few times before. Salt and pepper, and just like that, we have our side salad. So the main dish, though, this is what I'm really excited about. So we're doing sandwiches, but bring mm -hmm. the camera over here, Jared. So you can use any roll you like. I got some ciabatta rolls, and then these are the everything but bagel seasoning ciabatta rolls from Trader Joe's. They're so good. So I just slice these open. I'm gonna toast them. Like so, I'll probably put on a little bit of olive oil. Just a little bit. It doesn't need very much. Okay, and while that's toasting, so we're pretty much gonna make like a caprese turkey sandwich. Basically, I got some store-bought pesto. You can get it from wherever you like. It's from Trader Joe's. So we're gonna Spread some pesto, a little bit of mayo on the bread once it comes out of the toaster. Put some tomatoes, some basil, some fresh mozzarella cheese, and then some turkey on it. Just like that, you have a sandwich, but I feel like it's a little bit more gourmet, like something you get at a cafe or something. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna serve it with some watermelon, and then I just got some good old potato chips. Yeah. pretty darn good. So uh, the salad is something that Brittany's sister Michelle taught us and it is so very good and it makes a little go a long way which is delicious. But I gotta say real quick, Brittany is cleaning up the watermelon and what screams summer more so than watermelon? Right now I feel like it's officially summer here. Oh summer. baby baby. It's kind of summer all year round here. I know. Isn't that the Florida slogan? Never ending summer. <laughs> but watermelons in season all summer, so I'm really excited about that. Heck yeah, baby. So Brittany's got all the stuff ready to go for when our guests get here, and I just had a bite of one of these chips. I have been eating healthy, and I gotta say, that was tasted so good. <laughs> so what we can do, we don't have to eat the bread, we can just make like tomato, put a little pesto, the turkey, Ooh. everything else on it. I know. With no bread if you want That does sound really good. You guys, I almost forgot about the bread toast. <laughs> so good thing I remember, we don't want burned bread. Oh yeah, that's just Ooh, not perfect. Perfect. Okay, we got the bread, we've got all the fixins. All right, so on one side of the bread, I'll do this on the bottom. We're gonna take some pesto. Oh my goodness, that's where we're gonna get a ton of the flavor from. You don't have to use mayo, but I'm gonna add a little bit of mayo to the top of the bun. You know, so good. It's a sandwich. A nice, yummy tomato, fresh tomato. Some nice mm -hmm. pepper, some fresh basil that I chopped up. And then I'm gonna take a couple slices of the fresh mozzarella. Oh, oh that's what makes gosh. it right now. Then we take some oven roasted turkey. I just got this from Publix. Ooh. You guys, look at that. That looks pretty darn good. And then you put the top on it. Oh, baby, baby. Okay, come on, are you kidding me? That looks delicious. <laughs> that looks really good. They are gonna love it. We're gonna put that right there. So I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna assemble all these, and then it's gonna be about time to eat. Hey guys, I am back home from youth night. It's actually quite a bit later. We had a lot of stuff going on. We basically were planning the whole year of like what we could do for activities and stuff for the youth. We had a lot of great ideas. If you guys have any ideas, definitely let us know. It'd be kind of fun. But you guys, we are pretty wiped, so I think we're gonna go to bed, watch a quick movie. So I think that's gonna do it for us tonight. We love you so much, and until tomorrow, we'll see you guys later. Bye.